This is a Kenmore model 1229. It's a nice clean machine. It is, I believe, mid to late 80s era. Unfortunately, this is not an all metal machine. It does have one plastic part that is a cam drive. It has been checked and it is fine. It's a basic straight zigzag machine. It has the capabilities of doing creative embroidery patterns and that's kind of on you. It uses class 15 bobbins, um, 15 by 1 needles. It is a low shank machine. Comes with some bobbins for you to use. I don't have any other low shank attachments to put with it today, unfortunately. Very, very user friendly. It has a stitch width control here, a stitch length control here, and your reverse lever is here. This is your feed dog drop lever, and this is your power. Very, very simple. And of course, bobbin winder on the top. Now it is double needle capable, as most Kenmores are. 15 by 1 needles can be purchased at Walmart as well as the bobbins and probably some standard low shank attachments. Very, very nice smooth machine. It's a 0.87 amp, which is a little unusual and it's just because it's newer. Now I don't have a manual for this specific machine, but I do have a manual for a 1239, which is the same machine except it has a stretch option. But it's the same basic setup, it's the same threading, it would be the same oiling and maintenance. So I will provide a PDF copy of that manual via email for free with a machine. If you'd like an actual um, manual for this actual model, you would need to download it yourself. Let's start out with a couple of layers of cotton. Just show you how nice the machine works. Well, it might help if I thread it. I didn't notice that my husband had unthreaded it. Pretty simple. And unfortunately, I can't hold the camera and thread, but the manual explains the threading simple enough. And like I said, it is double needle capable. So although you don't have any fancy stitches built in, you can do a double needle zigzag. Alrighty, let's try this again. It go fast, it go slow. It is tabletop ready as you can see, or it will go in a Kenmore um, carrying case or cabinet. This is one of the larger deck machines needs to be in a specific Kenmore carrying case or cabinet. Check my other listings because I do try to keep a carrying case available for these machines at all times. This has a 17 inch long deck whereas a singer, a white, or a dressmaker has a 14 inch long deck. So this machine, unless you modify your cabinet, will not fit in a singer cabinet. And I need to tweak my tension just a hair. And thread broke. Guess this machine doesn't want to go anywhere today. Yep, my bobbin thread broke. Now let's find another one. There's a white one. Not the same color, but it'll match. It'll be fine, just as long as there's one on the bottom. And the bottom tension's a hair loose, so I'm going to tighten it so I can find a screwdriver. Sometimes that's hard around here. Oh yeah, that was like way loose. I wonder, I need to do adjust it. Bobbin snaps right in, easy as pie. Now, let's do that again. And I guess I need to bring it up. Much better. I tightened up the bobbin. And now the thread's not coming through on the top. I didn't realize the bobbin was that loose. Creative embroidery is where you just widen the stitch yourself. I pulled in my length. And I'm going to widen now, narrow, widen now, narrow, widen now, narrow. And I'm making a little diamond shape. And you can do that by turning the width knob yourself. 
making a little design. Now, it's not all metal, but it is pretty heavy duty. This is 10 layers of cotton. Using a size 16 needle. Still going to do better than the all plastic machines that you go buy. I wouldn't be afraid to, to sew 10 layers of cotton all day long with it. Very, very nice. Here's five layers of denim. I'm putting a lower price on this one just because it is a basic machine and because it is not an all metal machine. I'm putting a little lower price on it than most of the Kenmore's. But believe me, it's really no less of a machine. Just very basic if you don't want anything fancy. And as you can see, five layers of leather go right through. And this has the classic lots of room clearance under the presser foot. I can get my whole finger under there. And that doesn't happen with a singer or any other machine. And two layers of garment leather. You have a patch to sew on your vest. You want to hem your skirt, your leather skirt, or something like that. This machine is going to do you just fine. It's not going to make nice sheaths. It's not going to sew your horse bridle. It's going to make a nice stitch on two layers of garment leather for you. That is the Kenmore Zigzag Model 1229 sewing machine.